Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and today we're going to learn how to make a broomstick scarf. Okay, to begin with, um, I'm going to be using um, Caron Cakes acrylic yarn. It's, it's worsted weight, but you really don't need to have this. Um, you can use any kind of worsted weight from your stash. I'm also going to be using a 25, if you can see this, a 25 millimeter knitting uh, needle. And this is also a US size 50. Um, you only need one, you don't need two. And I'm also going to use a size I or 9 or 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to begin, we're going to simply work a small swatch of single crochets. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with our slip knot. And I'm going to use um, 20 stitches. So let's go ahead and crochet 21 chains. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, so I'm just going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. I'm sorry, yeah, that's right, second chain from the hook, and in each chain all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'll show you the last stitch. Yeah, crocheted all the way across. Here's the last single crochet. So it's just a simple row of single crochet. I'm going to chain one, turn, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across. I'm going to do this for row two and row three. So when we finish, we should have three rows of single crochet. Okay, now that we've gotten our three rows of single crochet, it's time for us to start the broomstick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a loop. And now I'm going to insert the broomstick in like so. Make sure you have it all the way so that it's um, around the circumference of, of the big part of the needle. If you have it pulled down here, the loops are not going to be the same size. Now this is the tricky part. Okay, because we're going to have to hold an extra device in our hands that we're not used to. Okay, so what I suggest is I suggest you hold the yarn the way you normally would in your left hand if you're a right-hander or right-hander or right hand if you're a left-hander. Okay, and first thing we're going to do, we're going to start with the first stitch. We're going to put our hook through. We're going to wrap that yarn around the hook and pull it up. Okay, and then we're going to put it over the stick, like so, and then give it a tug. Make sure it's tight. Now, you don't want it to be too tight, you just want it to be comfortably the same you know, kind of tension. Alright, so we're going to go do that all the way across. Put your hook in the second stitch, and put it over, and give it a tug. It is a handful at first. Okay, I'm gonna wrap, pull up the string, put it over the tip, I'll pull it tight. And do that all the way across. This is the most time-consuming part of this, I promise you. But once we, once we do this, go ahead and put it out a little bit further. Once we do this part of it it gets a lot easier and it's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this till I get a loop through all the way across. Well, I'll, I'll show you a couple more. And I guess you probably know a little bit of the history of the broomstick. Um, originally this big knitting needle that I would, I'm using now would have probably been a broomstick off of your broom which is you know, kind of a, that would be a little more awkward than using this, this uh, big knitting needle for sure. But uh, it does produce a very lovely fabric as you're going to see in a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pulling the loop. I'll do, I'll, let me show you up close one more time. I'm putting it in, the, in through the two loops and wrapping it, pulling it through, and then putting it over the top of the knitting needle. Let me go ahead and finish this and then I'll show you the next step. Once you finish this row, 
this is what you should have. It should look something like this. And you should have 20 loops. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, plus the one you started with. So you should have 21 loops. Now there are a couple of different ways I could do this. I could take these off the loop four or five at a time. Um, for this particular scarf, I'm going to work these in sets of four. That way I will have five um, broomstick curls all the way across. Okay, now I could do it that way or I could take them all off at the same time. And I'm going to do that. But before I do, let me just say that you need to be careful that you don't pull on this string too much right here because that could change the shape of these. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this off just like so. Okay. And now I'm going to, I worked from left to right or from right to left. If you're watching the left hand video, um, which is the opposite direction that you crochet when I pulled these loops and put them on the, on the um, knitting needle. Now I'm going to work from right to left as you normally would. I'm going to gather four of the loops like so. I'm going to pull the string through gently. Don't want to pull too hard. I'm going to chain one. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to work four single crochets in this loop. One, two, three, four. Okay, that first one is, is completed. I'm going to take the next four. I'm going to work four single crochets. You don't have to do a chain one for this. Just do one two, three, four. Now the chain one up here was because it's the beginning of the row, but um, you don't have to do that, but for the first one, let's look at the next four. One, two, three, four. Now notice I'm trying to gather them in and they are facing the same direction. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and let's take the next one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now the last one, you're going to have five because you started off with a loop. One, two, three, four, five. And that's not a problem. Honestly, the only people who are going to know this is probably me and you. So I'm going to do five. I, um, actually, I'm going to do four single crochet. I'm sorry, two three, four. We're going to keep our stitch count at 20. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Doesn't that look kind of cool? And we can keep it a secret how easy it really is to do. Let's chain one. Let's turn. And we're going to do one row of single crochet all the way across. Just working in the tops like you normally would. Remember you have 20 stitches. I kind of like um, separating the the broomstick from itself. I know there are a lot of patterns out there that has broomstick on top of broomstick on top of broomstick, and, and, th and those are fine. I mean, I just wanted to do something a little different here, and I, and I think when you separate it with other stitches, I think it kind of showcases, um, you know, the beauty of the broomstick just a little bit more. Um, kind of like with cables. If you have cables going every which way, then they kind of get lost. But if you can feature, you know, one or two really beautiful cables against a background of fabric, it just makes it pop a lot better, in my humble opinion. Okay, so now, um, oh, let me show you one other thing. This is the front side, and this is the back side. You have that little ledge there. So I'm going to work one more row of single crochet all the way across. And I'll come back after you finish this. Okay, now we're ready to begin another row of the broomstick. So we pull our hook up high. I'm going to stick the needle in, knitting needle, blah, knitting needle in here. Remember, get my yarn ready to go. Now I I, I did figure out why I'm having such a struggle with this. Um, that I am actually filming this you know, kind of holding it out in front of me, in front of the camera. Now, normally, um, I would have this 
this knitting needle kind of um, on my side, you know, kind of be actually being held under my arm. And that makes what I'm doing here a lot less awkward and a lot faster. So I just wanted to let you know that. So let me just try to get this camera on this right here. Put the put it over the needle like so. And I'm going to do this all the way across. Okay, I'll show you one more time. And stick it in there. Put the loop over. Let me show you from the back side in case you're wondering what this looks like there. Okay, so I know it's hard to see everything here, so I'm sticking this in here, wrapping it, just pulling a loop through, and put it over. I'm going to go ahead and finish pulling these loops through, and then I'll show you what I have. Okay, now that I've gotten all my loops pulled through, I'm going to go ahead and take it off again. I know this may seem really, really scary for you, but honestly, as long as you don't, you know, tug at this, um, the loops stay right in order and you can just pick them up. Okay, let's go ahead and take it off. And we take, in this particular pattern, four loops. Now this is the tricky part. You pull the yarn through. Don't pull it too tight now. And tie it, I'm sorry, work a chain. And then four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Okay, take the next four loops. One, oops, one, two, three, four. Take the four in order. Just pull the string through, yarn over, complete the stitch. One, two, three, four. Let's do the next four. One, two, three, four. You see how that goes? And it's interesting how when you just bring the hook through, yarn over, pull through for your first single crochet, how it automatically just twist them in the same direction. Two. Three, four. Let's do this again. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And last one we have five loops. One, two, three, four, five. And that was one, that's two, three, four. Make sure you don't put five, but put four single crochets here because if you put five in that last one each time, you're going to um, be increasing every round or every row. So we don't want to do that. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work two rows of single crochet, one row this way, and then one row coming back. And then I'm going to repeat this again and again and again until I get a longer piece. Um, once I do that, I'll show you what the fabric looks like. Okay, by repeating those broomstick rows that I demonstrated to you, I've actually completed my scarf. And this scarf is actually quite long. Um, I didn't use every bit of the yarn, but I used a lot of it, and it turned out to be over 96 inches long, which is kind of fun. You can uh, wrap it around and, and, you know, drape it and have a lot of fun with it. Um, let me show you the ending. I used fringe. Here, the knotted fringe, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make that real quick, okay? It's very easy. Okay, in order to make the fringe, we're going to need, obviously, the yarn. We're going to need a pair of sharp scissors, and um, you can use something that is the distance or the length of the, uh, of the, the tassels that you want to make. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to use the top of a plastic box that I have handy. It's very sturdy, and I'll be able to cut my, my fringe evenly. Now, if you don't have that, that's not a problem. Um, the, a great thing to use would be a piece of sturdy cardboard, or maybe even a small book. Okay, um, and let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to take our yarn, and we're going to wrap it evenly. Now, when we wrap it, 
We're not going to pull it real tight. We're just going to have just the normal kind of attention on the yarn because we don't want it to be, you know, real tight because then the fringe will be small uh, or, or not all be the same size. Now, as I wrap this, um, I'm going to do five tassels. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to do five tassels on each end and I'm going to, each tassel is going to have one, two, three, four, five strands in it. Okay, when doubled, it's going to be 10. So I, I'm just going to show you how to do one of these. Now, if you wanted to do, you know, five at a time, you would just go ahead and, and just, just wrap this, you know, about 25 times. Okay, I'll just do 10. So I just did 10, which is enough for two tassels. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to very carefully sure you can see this very carefully cut the yarn like so now I have I have 10 tassels okay I'm going to take five of these I'll show you how to do this okay now that I have five strands I'm going to make sure that they are reasonably even even at the ends like so okay I'm going to hold this with my finger here, and this is the part I'm going to pull into the scarf. Okay, this is with the front side facing. I'm going to stick my hook behind in the place where I've decided where I want this to go. And with all five strands on the hook, and I would try to use a larger hook. I'm actually using a K. You can use a K or something bigger, even something somewhat smaller, but something that's going to grab all five of those strands and pull them through the space like so. After you do that, put all, actually there's 10 strands here now because five plus five is 10. And I'm going to very carefully pull them all the way through like so and then just give it a little tug okay and that's how you would do the tassel fringe well this ends our tutorial i hope you enjoy experimenting with the broomstick and i hope you discover that it's really not as difficult as it looks all right take care guys bye bye